Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, regular viewers will know of my joyful enthusiasm about the Pentax Q and the upgraded Q7, both of which I have reviewed and loved for their utterly unique charm. The DSLR level control and feature set in a comically tiny package with surprisingly good image quality. It's my fun time kit. It's what I reach for when I need some photographic zen and fire under my muse's ass. And the newest addition to my Pentax Q toolkit is what Pentax call the Mount Shield Lens, the 07 lens. Now anyone else calls this style of lens a body cap lens, but Pentax went with Mount Shield. I don't know why, but I kind of like it. It sounds heroic. As the 07 on the box might give you some hints to, it's the seventh lens in the Q lineup, and it's for playtime. You can keep it on your Pentax Q and slide the whole thing into a shirt or jeans pocket for whipping out for some point and shoot spontaneous adventuring. It's a fixed focus prime lens, 11.5mm focal length, which on the Q or Q10 gives you a full frame field of view equivalent focal length of 64mm, and on the Q7, which has a bigger image sensor, you get a 53mm equivalent, and the aperture is locked in at f9. Items from about 30 centimeters to 2 meters will be in reasonably sharp focus at the center of frame, and spinning out to the sides of the frame, things get all wonderfully fuzzy and soft. This means landscapes aren't ideal, as everything will be a bit soft, but throw a subject of interest a meter or two away and somewhere near the middle of frame, and that's when it starts generating smiles. To me, the look is somewhere between pinhole photography and a lens baby, and you'll find that the most fun to be had with it is when you're mixing it in with the Q's built-in filters and processing modes. I was finding that a high contrast black and white or cross-processing effect yielded very complementary results under the lo-fi charm of the shield lens. Now obviously at f9 it's not much of a low light beast, but under bright harsh sun where contrast and colour really start kicking, you'll get the best from it. It can also make for some interesting portraits. It is of course tiny, it does of course weigh next to nothing, and it'll only cost you about 50 bucks or so. And if you're an existing Pentex Q shooter, I'm betting you'll enjoy it as much as I do. For the new Pentex owners out there, or prospective Pentex Q owners who haven't jumped in yet, it's going to be a nice addition to the kit lens, which will get you experimenting with the filter modes even more. When you get everything just right under just the right conditions, it's actually surprisingly sharp at times, and I was having... Well, to be honest with you, I was having a wonderful time out and about with it. There will never be a time again where I leave the house with my Pentax Q where I don't slip the shield lens in the bag with me. Because, you know, it is small and tiny and takes up no room. It weighs nothing. There's no, you know, penalty to carrying around this lens as in the, this kind of the point of the whole Pentax Q system. That's why I love it so much. I can carry, you know, the camera body and five different lenses in, in cargo pants pockets for crying out loud. But the shield lens is even more sort of tiny and so there is no reason in the world not to own this lens and not to take it with you every single time you leave the house with the Pentax Q. And that for me is, it's a wonderful thing. It's, it's one of the things I love most about the whole Q system. And uh, yeah, it's a no-brainer to own this lens, I think. Absolutely no-brainer. If you've got a Pentax Q and you don't go out and get this lens, you're an idiot. Quite frankly, as far as I'm concerned, you're a fool. <laughs> go out and buy the lens. It's awesome. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.